In this example, I need to find any vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, slant asymptotes, and any holes for the rational function f of x equals 5x all divided by the quantity x squared plus 2x. Well, to find vertical asymptotes and holes, we need to make sure we've simplified the function as much as possible. Does anything factor in this function? Yes, I can definitely factor the denominator. So f of x equals 5x divided by, both terms in the denominator have an x in common. Factor an x out of an x squared plus 2x, it leaves x plus 2. Now, can I reduce anything? This x is a factor of the numerator. This x is a factor of the denominator. So we can reduce those two x's. And I get 5 times 1 is 5 divided by 1 times x plus 2, which is just x plus 2. However, this function and this function do not agree at one point. And that is the point where the common factor equals zero. Our common factor that we reduced was x, so we have to just say as long as x does not equal zero. So now I've simplified my function, I can find the vertical asymptotes and holes. Vertical asymptotes are found by looking at the simplified form of the function and setting the denominator equal to zero. So I have x plus 2 equals zero. Solving this for x, subtracting 2 from both sides, I get x equals negative 2. So that is the equation of the vertical asymptote. Be careful, some students just say the vertical asymptote is negative 2. That is a number. We need the equation of a vertical line that always starts with x equals a number. In this case, that number is negative 2. Next, holes are found by setting the factor that you reduce between the numerator and the denominator equal to zero. So we get x equals zero. Now I need to find the y coordinate of the hole. Be careful, you do not want to plug in zero into this expression. You will get zero divided by zero, which is an indeterminate form. You always plug this value into the simplified version of the function. So I get y equals 5 divided by x is 0, 0 plus 2, so y equals 5 halves. So the coordinates of the whole are x is 0, y equals 5 halves. Next, we need to work on horizontal asymptotes and slant asymptotes. To find these, we need to know the degree of the polynomial in the numerator and the degree in the denominator. So for my numerator, what is the degree? What's the highest exponent on any of the x's? It's a 1. In the denominator, what's the highest exponent on any of the x's? It is a 2. And since 1 is less than 2, in this case, I have the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. This always gives a horizontal asymptote with the equation y equals 0. Remember, the horizontal asymptote has to be an equation of a horizontal line, so it has to start with y equals a number. And lastly, looking at slant asymptotes, rational functions cannot have both a horizontal asymptote and a slant asymptote. So since this function has a horizontal asymptote, we know it has no slant asymptote.